the more people that get ripped off the fucking bat, as far as I'm concerned, fuck the general public until they are screaming from the rooftops about bad tradesmen. I'm in my caravan and I'm about to unleash what could possibly be an unpopular opinion about this. So stand by. So there's nothing wrong with what Nick's done. I've just left Nick's name in because Nick's posted on LinkedIn. I think that it's fair that I recognise that he's posted on LinkedIn. Go and have a look at the real post. But basically, here's what's happened to Nick's poor customer. So from the outside looking in, Nick's got a relationship with his customer. And Nick's customer knows that his Nick's a good electrician, yeah? And Nick does solar. And he's asked Nick to price. And Nick's priced. And then he's gone back and says, someone's going to beat you by five and a half thousand pounds. And Nick... Because Nick's obviously quite sensible, has gone, can't touch it, and Nick has walked away. Then, here we go, the customers rang Nick. The person they cast off as the ideal provider is going to be the first person to call when someone's fucked something up for you. And they've got Nick to go around there because they know he knows what he's doing and look at their five and a half grand cheaper system to guess what? Surprise, surprise. Oh, it's a load of fucking dog shit wanker. It's been roughed in in 1.5 days by an MCS installer with no scaffolding off ladders, running cables up his loft, uh, running cables up the outside of his roof, and the old thing's dog shit. <laughs> Now, Nick's probably a bit nice to me because Nick's gone round there. I would have gone round there, to be honest. Nick's gone round there. Nick said he's absolutely mortified for his customer because the place is a fucking joke. The job's an absolute fucking state. Everything about it from start to finish is wank. And then there are people in the comments saying, oh, the poor customer, the poor guy. Fuck that customer. Fuck that customer right the fucking bum. If you're so fucking thick that you can't see that a solar job that's like for like, the customer's quote, not me, is not going to be actually like for like that. To make five and a half thousand pounds worth of savings is pretty much impossible in what is a competitive market, excluding some absolute bottom feeders and some top end people that are, that are making no secret charging big money. If you can't see that for five and a half thousand pounds, you're going to get a shit job, then fuck you. You deserve to get rip robbed. In fact, I hope they fucking walk away your roof. Because the simple fact is, the more people that get ripped off like that by absolute fucking shysters basically fucking putting in shit the more people will hear about it and the better chance decent people have got of getting decent work for a decent price all these customers that moan they got ripped off by a fucking tradesman fuck them yeah most of the time if, like if they got robbed for a decent amount of money just didn't turn up then great i get that but if it was five and a half grand cheaper Fuck them. Maybe it's just me, yeah. If I was buying, say, I don't know, a red Ford Fiesta that's five years old and there were three in the paper and one of them was seven grand and the other one was seven grand and the other one was two grand, I wouldn't be thinking, oh, what a fucking bargain. I'd be thinking, why the fuck is that so cheap? Is that not how normal people think? Are you so fucking thick that you always think you're winning and that, that cheap fiesta is not going to be an absolute pile of shite or stolen or something else. And it's the same with tradespeople. The more people that get ripped off the fucking bat, as far as I'm concerned, fuck the general public until they are screaming from the rooftops about bad tradesmen. Because only then will good tradesmen who are doing good jobs with previous for what they've done and pictures and um, people that will do word of mouth and all that, only then will they get up a decent work. So as far as I'm concerned, long may this fucking shy's drink continue. Long may thick, gullible members of the public get fucking robbed because fuck them, yeah? Then they'll go bankrupt or lose all the money they have to move out of their ass so they can move someone in there that's not thick. Fuck them, honestly. You've got to be stupid. There's got to be a reason. If you go in and look at some TVs and one's considerably cheaper than the other... Don't get me wrong, that telly will probably work. But it's probably fucking shite. Fuck, it just doesn't matter, does it? If something is heavy, it's going to be expensive. The heavier it is, the expensive it is. And if people can't work that out, and they think they're getting a deal, they think they've run a deals, 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 and they get robbed, fuck them. 
Fucking go to MCS. Go to Trading Standards. Go to an old fucking listen. But don't come coming to trade because we could not give a fuck about you getting ripped off by people that have undercut us. In fact, we probably sit there at night and I personally get my joy out of your tears of sadness knowing that someone's fucking cunted you off, you fucking cheapskate bastard. And don't get me wrong, yeah, I do a, a if anyone's watching this or doesn't know who I am or what I do, I'm an electrical engineer. I do the biggest podcast in the UK for electricians, yeah? And I absolutely endorse good tradesmen, good electricians doing good jobs, whatever they call the Elite Sparking Crew. We'll be all about good tradesmen doing good jobs for a fair amount of money. But what I'm saying is we support tradesmen that do good work and we turn on tradesmen that do bad work. And that's all we can do. What we don't support is people taking fucking bargain basement prices, then moaning they got a bargain basement job. What the fuck do you want, mate? Like, do your due diligence like we are doing on our customers. Do your due diligence, find a decent tradesman, get some recommendations and you'll get a good job more than likely. And if you don't, you can come to us. We will listen to you if you have been ripped off and you should have been ripped off because you've done everything you can. But if you're taking quotes that you can't throw a blanket over that are way cheaper than anything else, fuck you.